most of the time, especially because um, gingers stereotypically don't really tan that well, whereas I tan very quickly. So I suddenly like, start looking like a ginger Spanish person. Hewen's transformation into Jamie is not quick. He told Parade that he's in the hair and makeup chair for an hour and a half in the wee hours of every morning. You probably know that his hair is naturally blonde, not red like Jamie's. And his hair also used to be dyed in the earliest seasons. Nowadays, though, he's ecstatic to be able to wear a wig because he said the dyeing process was horrific. Right, next. The Outlander cast is instrumental in helping promote the series. So much so that they're required to have their own official social media accounts for the same reason. For example, the cast members often participate in Q&A sessions with fans. We think this is a great thing for the show because the marketing team can leverage each star's social media following. And it's also amazing for us fans who get to feel as if we have some sort of connection with our favorite actors. But we're not sure it's always such a good thing for the actors themselves. This is also why Sam and Kat have learned from experience to not monitor social media comments too seriously. In an interview with AP Archive, Sam explains that everyone has an opinion, but you can't please everyone all the time. And unfortunately, with social media, it's always that one bad comment that you remember. Cat agrees. I've taken a step back from social media as much as I can. I don't think it's good for your mental health. Right. Next. Be sure to read the fine print on your contract. For starters, Hewan and Balf signed a seven-year contract before they even filmed the first episode. Um, for real? Yes. On the set of Outlander near Glasgow, Hewan told the press, when you get given a contract, they say it's an American TV series, and you say, how many? Seven seasons? Yeah, of course. It's never going to happen. Both stars are extremely grateful with how things turned out, though, and are invested until the very end, whenever that might be. On another note, we're curious to know what happens when a lead gets sick on set. With such a tight filming schedule, this can be quite stressful. Or not. We found the answer on one of the set producers, Barry Waldo's Twitter page. And it sounds reasonable enough, but still, it's touch and go. According to Waldo, the showrunners will always try to look at other scenes that can be shot so the actor can get better first. But this isn't always possible. Like that one time, Kat had to fly straight back to Glasgow on the day of completing the London Marathon to shoot the next day. As always, she joked about it, but took it in her stride. If you've ever watched the cast in panels or interviews, you'd have noticed how they're all secretive and vague to avoid giving away insider information. This is part of the contract's terms and conditions. After auditioning, Sophie didn't hear anything back for a year. Naturally, she assumed she hadn't gotten the role. But as it turned out, they just decided not to introduce Brianna into the series yet. Once she landed the part, though, she had to wait several months for an official release to talk about her participation in the series. She even had to lie to friends about why she was really in Glasgow. Oh, and if you follow Sam and Kat's careers, like us, you'll know he has also completed Bloodshot and The Spy Who Dumped Me. Kat was in Ford and Ferrari and voiced Tavra in The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. How did they manage to fit this in with the Outlander schedule? Man, we're getting tired just looking at them being busy. It turns out they did these projects in gaps between Outlander seasons, as Sam explained in his interview with MTV News. The problem is that Outlander shoots for such a long period of time that it's about finding something that can fit into that gap. But I've had a few great projects. Thanks for watching. Why do you think the Outlander cast is great? Let us know in the comments. And as always, stay awesome.